This is Rod Kusinen, Spooman for Risk, on May 7th, 2018. All times on the chart are Central Standard Time. Uh, earlier this morning, uh, we were doing a live video, and unfortunately we had some audio issues with it, so we're having to uh, replay that video uh, without any sound. We'll just narrate that, and then we'll come back to, to a live screen. But uh, we looked at the activity of the premium uh, when the market hit uh, the low shortly after 9.30. And uh, that low on the premium shown here, as we draw attention to that uh, from our video, we uh, saw that this was evidence of a naked bar and an anticipated return to that low uh, sometime later on during the morning, at least we thought at the time. And uh, that was uh, pretty well based upon the fact that when we hit that low here, okay, the first standard deviation line was down around 61. And the low of the, or pardon me, the close of the previous day was just a little bit above that. So with the trend being what it was at the time, it seemed pretty evident that uh, that was going to happen. And then shortly before noon, we failed to hit a new high, which gave us even more reason to think it's going to come down. So we were p feeling pretty confident about uh, that activity. And as you can see, uh, this was a live video from earlier in the day. And that's where we were at uh, when we... Uh, uh, last uh, had uh, good audio, but then the audio <laughs> went haywire thereafter. So uh, we were looking strongly at uh, how the market was behaving after the low here, and we started tracing n any new highs on the premium from that pivot, which we continued to, to receive uh, into the noon hour. So just before noon, we hit this new high, and then we failed. Failed to get any new highs, so we thought, again, pretty confident this will come down. But, as it turned out, now we're looking at a, uh, a current screen. We got a big buy program that uh, kicked off. Um, shortly after quarter after one this afternoon and brought the market up to new highs for the day. It didn't change the call because that naked bar on the premium was still very compelling. So we still shorted that market and I'm glad we did because as it turns out, it in fact, shortly after two o'clock, not only penetrated the low based on the premium call at 68.75, but we went right into the low from the previous day and hit the first standard deviation mark shortly thereafter. Nice call. So indeed, knowing how to read the premium can be a boon to the effectiveness of your trading. And if you don't know how to read the premium, we'll teach you. We've got an excellent uh, methodology for doing that, uh, doing it correctly, and uh, it will unquestionably improve your trading results as you begin to use the premium in your trading strategies. So come and see us. Uh, I'm Rod Kusin and Spooman for Risk.